Hello, do you have a 2D CAD detail that you would like to bring into Revit? If that is so, this video is for you. Watch till the end of this video to know how to bring in a 2D CAD detail into Revit and make it as part of its project's documentation. To demonstrate this, I want to show you an example of this residential project which was created in Revit. All of the its 2D documentation was also developed from this Revit model. However, there is a septic tank proposed at this location whose designer did not use Revit. They provided the details in CAD. Now, how do we incorporate their CAD details into the project documentation that was going to come out of this Revit model? To do this, the first thing that we established was the position of the septic tank. Now, because the septic tank is not a 3D element, this was done in 2D using annotation detail lines. All these lines that you see are created from the detail line tool available here. They're only visible in this particular floor plan. The next thing that we want to do is to take a section along the septic tank and show the section detail that the consultant has provided. To do this, I'm going to use view, drafting view, and create a view called septic tank section. This is a blank sheet of paper. You can draw your septic tank section or import a CAD file that you already have. But before we import our CAD drawing, we must ensure that our CAD drawing is correct. So I'm going to go in my CAD drawing. The first thing I'm going to check is that it only has the geometry that I need. So let's do zoom and extend and make sure that there is only the geometry that we want to import. If there are any other geometry around this area which you would not like to import, please remove it and save as that file as a separate document. The second thing that I want to do is check my units. The geometry is created in this CAD file in millimeters. But if I go into my units tool, the insertion scale is set to inches. Now this is going to mess up when it gets imported in Revit. So I must ensure that the insertion scale is also consistent with the geometry that is being drawn. I'm going to say OK and set it to millimeters. The third thing that I want to do is purge everything so that my file size is optimized. So I'm going to use my purge tool in CAD and purge everything that is not needed. I'm going to close this. I'm going to control S and save this file that I want to import. Let's go back to Revit now. This is my drafting view where I want to import. Let's go to insert. You can either use import CAD option or link CAD option. The link CAD option maintains the link of your CAD drawing so that whenever the CAD drawing gets updated, the detail that you have imported also gets updated automatically. But make sure that whenever you send your Revit model to someone, you also send the linked CAD file along with it. If you use import CAD option, the CAD file that you import is going to be part of your Revit model and you'll not have to send it when you send your Revit model. But the disadvantage to this is that if the CAD drawing gets updated, this detail will not get updated and you'll have to re-import it again from the beginning. You can choose whether to use link CAD option or import CAD option. The process of importing remains the same for both of them. I'm going to use link CAD option in this video. Let's select the CAD file. Let's look at some of the settings before importing. Now you have options of preserving, inverting or keep making the colors black and white. I'm going to change it to black and white because I don't want all the colors of the CAD to come into Revit. You can also choose whether to bring in all the layers of your CAD or only the visible ones or you can also particularly specify the ones that you want to bring in. I want to bring in all of my layers, so I'm going to choose all. The import units, let it be auto detect. As far as your units are consistent between your geometry and the insertion scale of your units, this is pretty much going to work. But if it doesn't, you can also manually set in your particular units that you want to import. The positioning, I'm going to make it auto center to center. So the center of my drawing in CAD is going to match the center of my drawing in Revit. You can also choose any of the other positioning options that you have. Let's open that up. There we go. Now we have a CAD detail in Revit. Now let's take a moment and talk about the scale of your detail. Now let's go ahead and create a sheet where I want to put in my septic tank section. Now this is a little bit too big. If I wanted to reduce the scale, let's go ahead inside the viewport and change it to 1 is to 20. Now you see geometry automatically reduces to the scale that you have specified. What about the text or the hatch pattern? If you're bringing the text and the hatch pattern from the CAD drawing, you must ensure that in CAD they're correctly scaled 
to match the scale that you want to print. If you're using annotation text of Revit, you really don't have to worry about that because it is going to scale itself automatically. So the difference between an imported detail and the detail that you create in Revit is the one that text, hatch patterns, or any of these annotation elements are going to scale it itself automatically. Whereas the imported ones are not going to do that. So if you're going to use the text and the hatch pattern from the CAD drawing, please always ensure that they are correctly scaled in CAD before importing them into the drafting view. The other alternative that a lot of people like to do is to only bring the geometry from the CAD and do the, all the annotations in Revit so, so that they are consistent with the other project documentation that you have. Now, it's really up to you how you really want, would like to do it. Now, we have a CAD detail in Revit and it's also part of our project's documentation, but we want to cross-reference it with the drawing that we have here. How do we do this? Let's go ahead and cut a section but instead of creating a new section here, I'm going to use reference other view. And I'm going to choose my septic tank section detail here. And I'm going to create a section here. So if I double click on this, it's going to go into this drafting view that we have created. And it's going to refer to this detail number one on A116 sheet. So now we have a CAD detail that is part of our Revit's projects documentation. In the next episode, we are going to talk more about the annotation text in Revit, how to size it properly in order to create your shop drawings. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.